have us come out here for nothing. You the only one stopped so far. So guess what? God got a message for you. He got a journey for you. But it's up to you to get on the path. You yes. understand that? Just like you're going in college, you're going to get on this road and go down where you want to go. God had you to come over here for a reason, man. Give me that in Proverbs chapter 20 and 24. Let me show you something. One more scripture before you go. All right? And it's up to you. Is that your, uh, your sister? Uh, soon to be white. Your soon to be white. Okay, all praises. All right? So I want you to understand something. I'm going to read you a couple of scriptures one before you pull off. Now that you know that you are an Israelite, God requires something of you. Okay? You just can't hear this and go back, get in the car, turn on uh, Young Thug or whatever music you listen to and say, Hey, man, we got an Israelite. Drive a cigarette, smoke a blood, go to the club, nigga. That ain't what God got you right here right now for. He wants you to do what he say. He needs you over here trying to wake the people up. Everybody ain't going to stop. Everybody ain't smart as you. All right, watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Now, I want to come here for one second, sis. I want you to hear this right quick. Man's goings are of the Lord. See, a man's goings are of the Lord. So God got you right here for a, for a reason, all right? I want you to understand something. All right, give me uh, Exodus chapter 22 and 16. Come on right here right quick. You can come around here. I want you to hear this. I ain't going to hold y'all long. But we teach marriage in our community, okay? All right, that's what's going to bring the black community back together is marriage. Yeah, Not yeah. no baby mama, baby daddy. You go to A-Rail community, like the brother was saying, they marry. You go to the white folk community, they marry. You go to the Chinese Chinatown, they marry. You go across the track to the projects where we at, it's baby mama, baby daddy. So we come out here and we got to teach marriage because you go in the Christian church, they say come as you are. They don't care if you marry or if you just, you got a busted baby in the church. Hell, the preacher wants your money and your honey. You see what I'm saying? So we come out here to teach marriage to our community. So he said that y'all are planning on getting married, okay? Let me show you what the Bible says about marriage. Watch this. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. And if a man entice a maid. So y'all not married yet, all right? Have y'all slept together? Okay, so watch this. Let me show you what. And if a man entice a maid. So if a man spit his game to a woman, if a man entice a maid, read. That is not betrothed. That is not promised to be married to somebody else. That's what betrothed means, read. And lie with her. And you lay down with her, meaning you have sex with her. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. See, that's what we got to practice. You got to make her your wife now. You just can't hit her and go lay down with somebody else. You see what I'm saying? We don't teach that. I didn't know that. The truth, guess what I got now? I got a wife. That's right. All right? So... That's what's going to change the community. And so, it says if a man entice a maid, all right, and you lay down with her, you got to make her your wife now. Understand that. It says that you must endow her. You know what it means to endow? Somebody look up endow right quick. E-N-D-O-W. Let me show you what the Bible man to look. The laws of God is perfect. All we got to do is come back to it. We wonder why the, the, the neighborhoods are broken up because the laws of God ain't in our neighborhood. That's right. And we're going to teach marriage. They don't want us to be married. You know why? Because they put on love and hip hop. They put on uh, Atlanta Housewives. Everybody cheating on one another. Everybody ready to get beat up. Uh, the black woman all in the black man's face ready to act like she going to whip him. I want you to understand something. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 22 verse 16. And if a man entice a maid uh -huh. that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. So you got to endow her. Let's see what the word endow means. Endow, to furnish with income. Book right here, he had a Bible that didn't have it in, uh, like in the Christian church. And you can buy this separate, you know what I'm saying, all right? But this is in the book of Tobit, all right? Listen. The book of Tobit, chapter 7, verse 14. And called Edna his wife. So Toby called Edna his wife. Listen, what they did in the Bible. And took paper. And did what? And took paper. He took paper. And did write an instrument of covenants and sealed it. So he wrote an instrument of covenant with his wife. What are you talking about? Yeah. Marriage license. So you got to marry. You just can't say I'll marry her. You got to go to where? You got to get you, you got to get you a marriage license. All right. Give me some rock chapter two. Is that it on it? Yeah, watch this right here. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 42, verse 7. Deliver all things in number and weight, 
and put all in writing. So we got to put everything we do in writing. All right? All right, so you got to get marriage papers on her, okay? Y'all got to get marriage papers, all right? Give me Sirach 25 and 1. So God honors marriage. Watch this. Let me show you something about God. The book, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 25, verse 1. In three things I was beautified. So these three things God said he's going to be beautified in, meaning he's going to love it to death. Read. And stood up beautiful both before God and men. So these are the three things that's going to stand up both beautiful before God and the people that's looking at, looking at you. Read. The unity of brethren. See, like we out here coming out, waking up the people. God loved that. That's the unity of brethren. Read. The love of neighbors. Now we love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Read. A man and a wife. That agree together. See a man and a wife that agree together. When you came up, you said, "Come here, babe. Come, come watch this." She wanted to sit in the car. You told her to come. God said He loved that because you want her to be what agree with you about what you what you know, so she'll be on the same page as you. That's right. See God, He 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 loved that right there. A real man, that's what he gonna do. Come look at this. You're not just gonna learn it then. Try not to teach her because you're afraid of trying to teach her what the Bible say. You gonna have to teach her. You gotta learn, and you gonna have to teach her what the Bible say. And then y'all have y'all have children. No. Okay, y'all don't have children. One day, Lord's will, y'all be able to produce children, and you are able to teach your children what the Bible say. Okay, not what America says, but what the Bible says. Okay. All right. So this is what you gotta learn to teach your children. Not no Halloween. Halloween ain't in the Bible. Not no Christmas. Christmas ain't in the Bible. All right. Not no uh, uh, Fourth of July, Valentine's Day, Easter. Ain't none of that stuff in the Bible. Yes, so you right. wanna teach your children what the Bible says, not what America and Christianity says. Yes, right. All right. So that's the thing that you must do. All right. So the God likes a man and a woman that agree together. All right. So y'all gotta understand that that y'all gotta do what. Give me uh, Psalms 119 and verse 60 right quick. Give me the book of Psalms chapter 119 and verse 60. You can't put this off, man. You can get put to death. By you knowing this right now, and you going to lay it down, hey, you can get put to death, bro. Or y'all can have just bad luck will start happening until you do this. Listen. The book of Psalms chapter 119 verse 60. I made haste. He said he made haste. You know what haste mean? He hurried up. He double time. He, he said, I made haste and delayed not. He said he delayed not, meaning he didn't put this off from day to day. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, I'm going to marry her next year around this time. We're going to wait till uh, May. All right? Stuff like that. He said, I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. Just you can't go. put this off to keep God's commandments. A wedding doesn't call for a big old church. You got to have... All these bridesmaids, all these groomsmen, you gotta have a, a, a thousand dollar ring on your finger. That stuff ain't nowhere in the Bible. That is the custom of the white man that taught us on how to marry our women. And a lot of black men won't marry the woman because he, 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 he gotta buy her a ring. You don't have to buy no ring. I'm married up here. If I, I don't wear a ring, nor do my wife. Those are lights don't wear a ring. Nowhere in the Bible you gonna find that God said to put a ring on her finger. That's a, a, a white, a, a Egyptian custom or a white man custom saying that you put that piece of gold or whatever and that's supposed to be the main vein and it runs to a heart. Beyonce. Who said that? Beyonce. Beyonce said that. Beyonce. Put a ring on it. But that's not, see what I'm saying? <laughs> I want y'all to know this. It's time for to come back to God and not the ways of America. All right, you can love her just as much. I know people don't spend 10, 20 thousand dollars on a wig and guess what? They ain't stay together six months. Six months. <laughs> They didn't stay together long as John stayed in the army. He didn't stay in the army long. First shot fired, he was back at home. And then pawned the ring. And then pawned the ring. And you just sit up there and work overtime and job trying to get her a $1,500 ring. So I'm saying, that, that stuff ain't in the Bible. What's in the Bible is to keep God's commandments. That's right. All right? Let me show you what's in the Bible. Give me uh, Exodus chapter 20 and verse, uh, give me verse 14. Verse 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So that's what God said when you get married. He didn't say go buy a ring. He said what? Thou shalt not commit adultery. He said that you're not supposed to commit adultery. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 7 and verse 2. All right, bro. 
Give me that right there. Read that. What would God say? The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. He said, nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Read. Let every man have his own wife. You got to have your own wife. I mean, you can't have two wives, bro. You can't be sleeping with her and then going sleeping with somebody else. Every man have his own wife. And let every woman. They said, now let every woman have her own husband. You got to have your own husband. You can't have him then go sleep with somebody else. All right? That's what the Bible is saying. It doesn't say nothing about having no $20 million wedding. All right? Now, it ain't nothing wrong with getting it in if you want to have a wedding reception and stuff like that. But there's no commandment in the Bible. So what I'm telling you is that you don't have to wait to marry her. You can go Monday morning. You can go tomorrow morning in the courthouse open. All right? And you can just, hey, sign the paper. They officiated it. And it's, it's, hey, y'all married. Okay? That's what you can do. And this kid, that's called making haste, keeping God's commandments. And he's going to start to bring another understanding of this Bible to y'all when y'all do that. You understand that? All right, y'all. Hey, we finna ready to go because it's, it's starting to drizzle a real good out here. And we don't want to just have y'all standing out here in the rain. All right, man. Y'all make sure y'all get up with us, man. All right? Y'all get up with the prophets, okay? All right. Well, we got a school in Memphis, man. Y'all know God against tattoos, too. Now y'all know? Now guess what? You don't, don't get it no more, okay? All right? Bring out the law on it right quick. All right, y'all have a good one. Hey, how you doing, brother? Y'all ain't got no camp set up here in Jackson? No, nah, we trying. We, we working on We got a camp in Memphis right now, but we from around here, though. We all from around Jackson area. No, nah, we Israel United in Christ. All right? Israel, I-U-I-C, Israel United in Christ. All right, we're not Israel, uh, Israel of God. I don't hear of them, okay? But we are, uh, we are another church. All right. Easy. All right. So you know you're an Israelite, huh? Ah, uh, okay. So you, you from around here? I just moved down here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So a lot of people around here don't know it. That's why I asked. That, 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 that's what made me turn around and park. I said, them Israelites, them Hebrews right there. That's right. That's right. So give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12 right quick. I've been doing lessons with my girl in the car. Okay, all praises. Okay, all praises, man. All right. Watch it. Hold on. I'm bringing a scripture out for you right quick, bro. All right. You pull over, I got to bless you. All right, listen. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. So now Israel, you know that you're an Israelite. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? So what is God requiring of you, black man? God requires something of you. You just can't know this and just be like, hey, I know I'm an Israelite. I'm God chosen people. Hey, I know this. It is what it is. Now God requires something. Listen. Bring it out. But to fear the Lord thy God. We got to learn how to fear God. To walk in all his ways. We got to learn to walk in all God's ways now. You see what I'm saying? And to love him. Uh -huh. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So it's time for you to learn the commandments and keep them, bro. That's what God going to open your understanding of this Bible. Give me Psalms 111 and 10. Because you can read the Bible all day. And not understand it, how some understand it, but as you start to keep the commandments, he's going to brighten your understanding. Why? Watch this scripture right here. Psalms 111 and verse 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. That's how you're going to start to understand and teach your wife who you are, okay? And who she is and stuff like that. Read. A good understanding to get a good understanding on what you read and what he got to do. Have all day that do his commandments. They say all day that do his commandments. So that's the only way you don't understand the Bible if you're doing his commandments. That's why the Christianity, the Christian church, they don't understand the Bible because they're not doing nothing the Bible say do. I passed by a church yesterday. They having a yard sale cooking swine on the Lord's Sabbath day in the church parking lot. Praying over. Praying over. I know you got to keep this yeah, so we got to keep God's commandments, bro. It ain't nothing hard to do. Give me, uh, uh, right. The Sabbath day is on a Saturday, not a Sunday. Today, if people went to church on, uh, today, they worship the sun, the sun God. This the first day of the week. Yesterday is God's Sabbath. There you go. Those guys, see, we need you out here to be teaching this and telling it. Have a camp. Yeah, see, we got one in Memphis. Y'all give him a flyer. He got a flyer? Yeah, he got one. Okay, yeah. Hey, we drive to Memphis every week. We trying to get enough brothers down here where we can open up a chapter or school. Okay? Hey, call that number, bro. All right, give me Leviticus 21. Five. All right? Yeah, okay, yeah. We don't heard of them. Israel of God. Okay? 
Watch this. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So this is a law that God told the Israelite man. He said that we can't make boldness on our head. I mean, we can't take a sh uh, razor and shave our heads. We got to let it grow. Okay? About the tattoos. I don't know about that. Uh-huh. Read it one more time. They shall not make boldness upon their head. We can't make boldness on our head. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of thy beard. They said we can't shave off the corners of our beard. Neither why you see all of us with a beard. Okay, so that's a commandment that we got to keep. I All right, yeah, see, God laws are spiritual. We got to, as, as, as men, we're supposed to have beards on our face. Why? Because we are the lions. We are the lion of Judah. That's you right. see what I'm saying? We can't be like little pussycats out here. See, they had feminized the black man and made us pussycats. But you, you looking at the lions are roaring back up now. And we out here to tell our people to do what? Keep God's commandments. So you got to let your beard grow on your face according to the Bible, bro. All right, it said, uh, keep reading, is that it on there? Huh? Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. That's going into tattoos, like you were saying, that we're not supposed to be making cuttings in our flesh. If God created man in his own image, why do we feel the need to draw on ourselves? You know where we got getting tattoos from? Our oppressors, okay? The people that oppress us, they have no pigmentation in their skin, so they start to draw on their skin, we start to do the same thing. And give me uh, Leviticus 18 right quick. That's why he says that we we cannot. Hey, this why this why he said that we cannot make baldness on our heads or shave off the corners of our beard. Read 18 and 1. Listen. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. So Moses tells them, Speak unto the children of Israel, read. And say unto them, I am the Lord your God. He said, He's the Lord our God. After the doings of the land of Egypt. Uh, we had just came out of Egypt in the book of Deuteronomy. It was the Exodus. Moses, God sent Moses and Aaron into the into the uh, land of Egypt and God delivered us out of that. And he said, what now? Wherein ye dwelt, ye shall not do. Read it again. Verse 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, ye shall not do. Uh, we're not the Egyptians shade their head ball. You understand me? The, uh, they shaved off the corners of their beard, okay? We were started to learn the ways of Egypt, just like now we in Egypt, all right, which is America, and we have learned the ways of America, just like October 31st, what our kids gonna be doing? Celebrating Halloween. We're celebrating Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, Halloween. Then uh, November the 20-something, what they gonna be celebrating? Thanksgiving. Learned that from Egypt. So we got to come out of the ways of Egypt. Christmas, the ways of Egypt. We have been, we've been, we've been taught in the ways of Egypt, just like Moses was. And God, that's why God had to tell Moses to tell his people, don't do like them. Don't be like them. Why? Because we are a chosen people. We are royal priesthood, said the Bible. All right? So look, man, we need you to start coming to the school, bruh. We got a lot of older men. Y'all gonna, uh, gonna hear from me, bro. Yeah, I'm, call that number, bro. I've been looking for y'all. Yeah, all praise. That's why, you know what? Give me Proverbs again. 20 and 24. Let me show you what something what God said. Made me turn around. Soon I saw y'all, I knew who y'all were. Let me show you what God said, bro. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. He said man's goings are of the Lord. So, you thought you were just riding somewhere. You were going to go past... Uh, Campbell and uh, what's that, Highland? Man, you God told you to get up, go somewhere wherever you was going, and you went and you did what God said. And guess what? Now you don't ran into the truth because He know that you've been searching for the truth. Yes, all right. I know the truth. I've been searching for the camp. Yeah, there you go. I know all right. the truth, though. All right, so you know the truth. I'm gonna show you. Camp. Give me the truth right quick. Let me show you that you didn't know the truth because you just said that you didn't know something. Let me show you what the truth is. All right. Out, huh? The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So God laws is the truth. So you said you knew the truth, but I told you about your head and your beard. So, okay, so you didn't know the truth. So now you are searching for the truth. But I, All right. that, I know that sin is transgressing the uh, law. Right. I just didn't know that that was a law. Right, there you go. I hey, one point of time, hey, we didn't know a I lot of things. Out, but yeah, yeah. Huh? All this won't grow. Hey, give me Leviticus 13. 
The book of Leviticus chapter 13 verse 41. And he that hath and he that hath his hair fallen off from the part of his head toward his face. They said that he that have his hair fallen off. Read that again. And he that hath his hair fallen off from the part of his head toward his face. Right in, right in he is forehead bald. He is what? He is forehead bald. The Bible call you forehead bald. Okay, listen. Yet is he clean. They say, yet is he what? Yet is he clean. You're clean. If you if you long as you ain't shaving it. Alright? If you forehead bald, you can cut it down to a shadow or you can just let it grow. Like bro right here. See, he go he becoming forehead bald. Not you no know, speaking bad. Not, not not to be messing with him, but it is. He got a receding hairline. But you know what I'm saying? So that's what you gotta do. Alright? Yeah. So hey, we gotta come back to God's laws because why do we come into slavery? Disobedience. For disobeying God's laws, for doing the ways of the Egyptians, all right, the, doing the land of Egypt. So if we want to come out of slavery and we want to see ourselves as kings on this earth again, we got to do what God says do. So that's a law right there, bro. So make sure you get up with us, man, and start, hey, you can ride with us to the school or, hey, you can trail us down. We can carpool. We got a whole school, a whole congregation down there, man, that's waiting to meet you my and your family. My name is Sean, bro. Okay, my name is Ben Zion, bro. Ben Zion, ben Zion. yeah. Start y'all, brother. All right, man. Shalom, All brother. Right, All right. All right. What's up, man? How you doing, brother? All right. Hey, come over here and get something to acknowledge before you pull off, man. Okay, then. All right, check this out. Give me a dude around me. Hey, give him a flyer. Yellow truck. He going to give you a flyer. Hold on. Come around and get you a flyer. So what we doing, we are here teaching our people who we are according to the Bible. That we are God's chosen people. That's right. And it's time for the black man and the Hispanic man to wake up in our community. All right? That we are the real Jews. Okay? That right. Jesus Christ is not a white man like they gave us in slavery. But if you read in the Bible, Jesus Christ happened to be us. That's right. He happened to look like us. That's right. Okay? And you can't say it don't matter what color Jesus is because, it, give me the color of Jesus right quick. Hurry up. You can't say it don't matter because if it didn't matter, the white man wouldn't have said he was God after you put yokes of iron on your neck and drug you off a slave ship and told you that you was a nigger. Read. The book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ had white woolly hair. Listen. As white as snow. His hair was white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Jesus Christ's eyes was a flame of fire. Why? Because he drunk wine. He was a wine bibber. His eyes was a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like a to find bread. So he looked down at Jesus Christ's feet. His feet were like the same color as brass. All right? Meaning a derivative of brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. It looked like Jesus Christ's feet had been burnt in a furnace. So I don't know where y'all get this picture and paint Jesus as a white boy from. And then you tell it and show it to our kids. You put it in all the movies. You, know. you put it in the cartoons. Yeah. You put it in the Jehovah Witness comic book. The Watchtower is Jesus Christ being a white boy. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. And a lot of y'all been treating us like niggers and you hate black men. Y'all gonna be surprised when a black man crack that sky. That's right. With a sword in his hand to render his recompense to the people that you hated since you've been on this earth. You know. Yeah, y'all gonna be mad. Y'all gonna cry. But guess what? God ain't gonna cut nothing about no tears. Give me that in Obadiah. You know. Y'all can keep treating the black man like niggers. Keep treating us like the, the garbage. Y'all gonna be very surprised that Jesus Christ and God himself is a black man. That's right. And we can prove it out in the Bible. The time for y'all to wake up and stop worshiping the white man as your God. And stop teaching our children that the white man is God. How you teach your children that the white man is God? That you teach them Halloween. You gonna dress them up like goons and goblins. That's what white folks do. We learn these customs from them. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 6 and 17 right quick. Or 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. It's time for us to come out of the ways of America, sister. It's time for us to teach the truth. Come out of these Christian churches that have taught us Christianity. Having trunk or treats. What in the world is a trunk or treat? Where in the world is it? Instead of Halloween, they're going to say Hallelujah night and get the kids all kind of candy. 
It's time for us to come out of the ways of America and teach our children the truth. They teach our children that a big fat white boy ain't coming down the chimney on no December 25th to deliver them nothing. That's right. If you buy something for your child, you need to let your child know you bust your ass for that. Go get a credit to a fat white man that, that can't even, we ain't even got no chimney in our house. Freedom. I grew up in a project, we ain't even not have no chimney. But we want to teach our kids that what? So Santa Claus bought you this. Go give all your credit to a fat white redneck white boy. Out, huh? Time for our people to wake up, read. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. See, the Bible is telling the Israelites to do what? Come out. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Hey, if you don't come out of the ways of America and be separate, you're going to die with America. Thermonuclear fire is coming to America. Y'all better realize and recognize what Donald Trump doing. He's doing the work of God. I know a lot of people don't like what Donald Trump doing, but guess what? God like it. Because if God didn't like it, he would not be in office. And he going to pop out World War III. That's he gonna right. be the start of it. It's time for our people to wake up. Yeah, he gonna make America great again, all right? With thermonuclear fire. Yeah. The only way America gonna be great again, it gotta be burnt the hell up. That's right. A lot of these gang members gotta be burnt the hell up. That's A lot right. of these thoughts gotta be burnt the hell up. Yeah. A lot of these homosexuals gotta be burnt the hell up. Yeah. A lot of these alleged gotta be burnt the hell up. Yeah. And you know the wicked white man got to be burnt the hell up. That's right. It's time for our people to wake up and come out of their Christian churches. If you went to church today on the Sunday, guess what? You went to church on the wrong day. Right. You should have went yesterday because yesterday was the Sabbath of the Lord, not Sunday. That's Sunday right. is the first day of the week, not the Sabbath. They done destroyed us so much, the black one, hey, we can't even count no more. Black folks, we can't even see that Sunday is the first day of the week when it's right there on the calendar. If you look at a calendar, it starts with what? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's time for our people to wake up in Jackson, Tennessee. It's time for us to wake up and take our community back, and we can't take it back learning lies and teaching our children lies. It's time for us to wake up. And what you're looking at is a new breed of black men. It ain't just us, what, five men? No, it's, a, it, it's hundreds, it's thousands of us teaching this gospel across the world, across America. But a lot of y'all are going to stay asleep. You're going to stay asleep until Christ comes, and you're going to get put to death. You know. That's what's going to happen. Read that again, 1 Corinthians. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. It said you better come out of the ways of America and be separate, sister. We got to start teaching our children the truth. Don't let our children celebrate no Halloween. That's the evilest day ever. But we address our kids up like goons and goblins and, 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 and give them candy and let them go house to house. Y'all got to look up the origins of this white man's holiday. Look up the origins of Thanksgiving. What was Thanksgiving about in school? The pilgrims and the Indians. What did the pilgrims do to the Indians? They murdered them and took this land and called it, give thanks to their God. This their God right here. That's who they gave thanks to, the white Jesus. And we sit up here and we sit around the, uh, the table and give thanks to that same God. When they sit up there and are raped and robbed and killed 77 million people and took this land and gave grace and thanks to their God. Time for our people to wake up Bring in up. Jackson. Up. Read that. Give me the uh, Revelations 18 and 4. We are the Israelites. That's right. We are God's chosen people, bro. That's right. Read what you got. The book of Revelations, chapter 18, verse 4. Hey, how you doing, bro? You all right? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. So he said, do what? Come out of her, my people. So the Bible is telling the black woman and the black man to come out of the ways of America or you're going to die. Read. Right. That ye be not partakers of her sin. You better stop being partakers of America's sin. We got to quit following the white man. He going to lead us. He done led us into slavery. Now he going to lead you into the pits of hell. That's right. He going to lead you to that fire. Why? Because you want to teach your children Halloween. You want to teach them Thanksgiving. You want to teach them Christmas. You want to teach them that New Year. You want to teach them Valentine's Day. You want to teach them Martin Luther King Day. You want to teach them everything but what the Bible say. 
and that's why it's gangs in our community. That's why it's prostitution in our community, and that's why it's uh, STDs in our community. Why? Because we will not teach our children what the Bible says. Right. We take our children to church to learn a feel-good message. He'll give you one scripture of the day, and he'll have a sermon for two hours. Close the book and have a sermon for two hours. It's time for our people to wake up. Come over here, sister, and learn who you are according to the Bible. We know Jackson ain't used to seeing this, but y'all gonna see a whole lot more of it. Yeah. Time for our people to wake up and come back to God. Read. And that you receive not of her plagues. And you, that you receive not of her plagues. Talking about America. It's gonna get put to death. You know. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.